powerful, rebellious, American. These three elements best describe the muscle car, an essential component of American culture. The complexity of America's cultures have been fueled by the same elements. Talking more in depth about Hispanic culture, we have Second Lieutenant Jennifer Dees, an intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance instructor at the 315th Training Squadron. I'm Airman First Class Soraya Hines, and this is Airman in Cars Getting Speeds. <laughs> All right, so if you could only eat one type of food for the rest of your life, oh gosh, what would it be? Like it can be like you can you can be general like Chinese or American or Mexican or English. Right, right. So I love Mediterranean food. Oh, okay. Love it. Nice. Have you had falafel? Absolutely. I made falafel. I have as well. Yeah. It's very good. But I will say I could probably eat Mexican food every single day for uh, every yeah. single meal. So yep. tacos, burritos, or enchiladas? All of them. All yeah, of them? I don't discriminate. What is a popular song right now that you just find completely annoying? Oh goodness, all of them really. I, um, <laughs> I don't listen to music at all really. Really? It's terrible, I know. So, so do you have like a favorite genre? Uh, NPR. <laughs> <laughs> so I will say that my son has learned a Taylor Swift song <laughs> and I was in the shower and my son comes knocking on the door and he goes, Mom, like, what? He's like, look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. And he knows the chorus so he just sings it over and over and over. So I, it's like a little bit cute so I don't find it too annoying but right. I will say but I hear it quite a bit. Yes. Yeah. I can it's important to recognize um, Hispanic service members? Well, honestly, I think it's important to recognize all kinds of, all, all of the different ethnicities uh, and, you know, recognize the contributions of really a, a, any minority in, in the Air Force and the military writ large, but celebrating diversity, diversity in thought, diversity in experience. Um, and upbringing and culture. I mean, celebrating all of it and then teaching everyone mm -hmm. uh, who wants to learn um, about these cultures and, and different things that yeah. they bring to the table, for sure. What message would you like um, other members of the Hispanic culture and heritage to receive from our uh, interview like what would you want someone to take away from it um, I want everyone to feel that they're welcome in the military and that uh, wherever they come from they're celebrated and there are people who want to learn about where they came from they don't have to forget uh, about their culture and language like right. we're we're interested we're all family uh, we we want to take care of everyone and learn about everyone and, and learn who they are um, every airman has a story right so learning about the different, all the different ethnicities that our airmen come from. I think it's it's important, and um, yeah, we're all we're all a mix of things, right, right. nowadays. Yes. So, you know, learning things about ourselves in the process, I think, is is cool too. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, Lieutenant Dees, thank you. and this was Airmen in Cars Getting Smoothies. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you.